Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new episode of the hit detective game Black Sad with your host Fallen Wolf. Oh! Also, I did not mean to do that. All right, we're already starting off at a, we're already starting at a bad start. I didn't mean to press the button. I apologize, Black Sad. Please don't hurt me. I'm gonna let you do your job and I'm gonna stand in the background and watch and then take all the credit. All right. So last time, uh, last time we left off, uh, we currently. Sorry. Uh, last time we left off, we were looking more into the, uh, into the investigation, and, and now, we're currently wondering if, we're currently our lead suspect is Bobby Yale, who was the prized pupil of, uh, Dunn, uh, Joe Dunn, the, um, who currently we, 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 um, we're starting to believe didn't commit suicide, starting to look like that it was definitely a murder, and Bobby Yale's a prime suspect, so right now, in this episode, we're gonna keep, we're, we're uh, doing some little sleuthing, some little sneaking. It's funny I mentioned sleuthing because while I'm here, um, if anybody wants to uh, watch some more sleuthing, specifically of the digital cyber kind, um, I'm currently on my Twitch. I am currently, the game I am playing on my uh, Twitch channel is Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I am playing both games. I am going to be starting with the first one, which is just called Cyber Sleuth. And then later on, going to be playing Cyber Sleuth Hacker Memories, which is a side story, uh, kind of a sequel, but kind of not a sequel. So if you really like a lot of sleuthing, you could definitely check out my Twitch, uh, which is, my Twitch, which the link is down in the description below, to get some little sneaky, sneaky, more detective stuff. Uh, with a little bit of a uh, er, twist, if you get my meaning. But anyway, enough about that. Let's continue on with uh, let's continue on with Black Sad. Well, starting right off the bat, we have another card or part of a card. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I, I barely know him. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mary, you don't know Bobby Yale, but you you went you went somewhere with him. Mary Prunel and Bobby Yale. Oh, I wonder, is she? Is she date? Was she? Was she with Bobby Yale secretly? Before she went with um Joe Dunn. Lo I love this music. I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. Listen, listen. You know what, Black Sad? Don't you know that people have been prosecuted for a lot less? You you could make an excuse to say that Pickles was his life, his well-being, his meaning. He gave his everything to his life. And Joe Dunn decided to stop selling pickles in the vending machine at the gym. And then that's when Bobby Yale lost it. Bobby Yale was just pissed. He had enough. And he decided he was going to, he was going to let his love of pickles survive or he'd be damned. Alright, what else do we got? Uh, Al Meyer La Fontaine. Uh, 17th century French fables. Mayor must be one boring old lady. Oh, that's not nice to say. You can find. Oh! Sorry, uh, uh, evidence. You have to wait. Another, uh, another trading card. You know, I was never really, uh, you know, I don't know if people were. I never was into trading cards. I always kind of found it boring. The only trading cards I ever got into was Digimon and the Pokemon kind. <sighs> a lot of dishes. So that shows he hasn't been here for a while. That does kind of hint that he hasn't been here for a while. Where's this at? Oh, is that the bathroom? Oh, uh, there's got to be some. Oh, hold, oh, hold up, hold up. I found something. Wait, 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 camera angle, what are you doing? Stop, please. No, I failed something. No, stop, go. Black said, stop, what are you? No, I, no, I saw something. I, there you go. No, Judging no, no. Judging by the general no. state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. No, it's right there, stop, no, what are you? Black said, please stop, I'm begging you, please stop. I'm begging you, it's right there, stop. Black said, you monster, stop it. It's right, no, it's right there. Stop, 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 no camera. Oh, I hate this camera. No, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. No, stop. How do I? How do I? Yeah, there. Wait, wait. No, oh, right there. There you go. Yes. Oh, that was that was a pain. 
I, I hate that. I was like, no, stop. It's right there. All right, there's nothing else in here. I don't think. Oh, I, the only thing I don't like about this game, the camera's not the best. And the controls are very stiff. The walking controls. It's in here. Uh, oh, boy. That, that looks a little worrisome. Somebody's not doing too well mentally. Someone needs a mental health day. Oh, another one. There's a lot to take it to. Wait, stop. There you go. Another one? Huh. And a lot of uh, trading cards pieces. Complete poems. Uh, Avener Avenaris. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father Av Av Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Huh. Mm. Okay. The Bobby Yale's still kind of... Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? I'm going to say someone took the clothes. Unless someone emptied it recently. Cause I mean, I wouldn't really call this quite a. I wouldn't really call this the uh, bachelor pad. I mean, you know, some people are not that picky when it comes to certain adult activities. But even so, I'm gonna go with the other, another one, another so, book. You like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? A lot of uh. Seems like Bobby books. inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. Nice chain. Hmm. Okay, so maybe uh, Bobby L isn't quite as dumb. Well, we haven't really met Bobby L. I don't know enough about him to make that uh, assumption. But it seems like Bobby L is uh, you know, not quite your average boxer. Um, are we missing something else? What else are we missing? The pizza? Oh. Pizza. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Doesn't seem like the best food for a boxer. <laughs> then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. It probably would be a lot of protein, wouldn't it? I would think for somebody like a boxer, because you want a lot of strength. You want, you're going to want a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of arm muscle like I have. Boom, pow. <laughs> no. Boom, gotcha. fragrance. Almost angelical. Ooh. Scarf at Yale's. Huh. Ooh. Mary. I was going to say, didn't Mary, didn't she say she left her scarf? Ooh, yes. Deduction. I can already guess this one. Because Mary said something about she had left her scarf at home. That's probably her scarf. So I'm going to say there's a scarf at Yale's place. And Mary has a cold. Mary went to Luna Park with Yale. Ha! First, first try. She's been here recently, but why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? Maybe she was seeing him. Maybe she was seeing him. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. Mary Prunel and Bobby Yale killed Dunn? Question mark. I'm wondering if Mary was seeing Bobby Yale before people say, oh, she's old or, you know, like, oh, come on now. That's a, that's a, you know, um, you know, I didn't say that. I know people are going to say that. So maybe Mary was seeing Bobby Yale. That was her boyfriend before she started hanging out with Joe Dunn. And then Joe Dunn, they started falling in love with each other. And then Joe Dunn ended up... Because didn't we find a ring? Didn't he end up proposing or something for her? Uh, Joe Dunn ended up proposing to her, and she didn't know how to tell Bobby Yale. And Bobby Yale found out, and then, you know, pretty much like a, lo a jealous lover spat. And he murdered. Leave, avoid O'Leary. See, I don't really want to. <sighs> I don't want O'Leary helping, but on the other hand, he has a lot of resources that can help us out. But I don't really want to say, oh yeah, like, uh, Mary might know something, because he's, he's a, you know, he's a 
freaking thug. He's gonna probably just beat her up. Uh, I wish there was more of what more than one save point. I right, I'm gonna risk it. I'm scared because I don't want him to beat her up. Relief. We're done. I think that's everything. When I left, I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. Oh, okay. Oh, we are, he already did it for us. Like, like, I wonder if we... Before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. O'Leary and Ally. Because, like, I, knowing him, he would rush into conclusions. And we're like, we don't... There's still a lot to this case we don't under, fully understand. O'Leary probably rushed into the case and did threaten Mary. Without, like, really... You know. He, would, he, he probably would just threaten Mary instead of actually, like, trying to talk to her. Uh -oh. Ooh. All right, Mary, the jig's up. We well, you know I've what you've been doing. Angels. Mr. Black's hat? What a... Mm. Surprise. Uh-oh. When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. How did you open the door, or why did he hide this information? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna so start off nice. So you knew that Yale was with Dunn when he died, and yet you told no one. Let's, let's start I off nice. I guess I just forgot. Be a good detective Everything right is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Blackside. Sure it is. Don't be. I'm here to figure it all out. <laughs> I like kind of the way, it's smug way that uh, Black Sad said it. What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? Or do you realize you might be protecting a murderer? What's your relationship? What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay, I think it's time to set things straight. This is how I felt. I'm going to call it out. I'm calling it out. I know you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or with there Yale we go. Around. I'm like, yes. No. How can you even think of something like that? Are you kidding me? The evidence. How can you convince me otherwise? Yeah, right? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Mm. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? Okay, then. I'm not white, Mr. Black said. Um, what? what? Also, the bu there's a bug right now. Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, mm. even if my skin says the contrary. Uh -oh. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Uh, this is all bad. Um, Segregated restrooms with far worse stalls for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and mm. all that. That baloney, that crap, that garbage, that damn non... Crap. That crap. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great-grandparents were. Mm -hmm. I completely understand you're not the only one. Completely understand. I completely understand you, Mary. Just think if you were also a woman. Mm. He's my nephew, Mr. Black said. Okay. Oh! Joe and I first started okay. taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. Da, da, the some, three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. Sometimes you're not matching up with the uh, words. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. Uh, I'll apologize for that. I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry. I understand. You apologize. Uh, let's check out that real quickly. Very quickly. Okay. TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? Was that a thing? I, I'm kind of not quite the smartest when it comes to... Oh, what is that? Fresh out of the oven. The whole room smells like pie. And one more. 
Probably gonna be on her, right? Oh. Oh, oh. Mary smells like... Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. So I can't identify any other fragrances. Well, I apologize, Mary. I didn't mean to, uh... Oh, one more thing. What, what else do we got? Oh, what's that? Femininity starts at home. Okay. Uh, nothing else. Um... About Sonia Dunn and the ring, I managed to hide the truth. Yeah, I didn't tell her. I appreciate it, but at the same time... What? No, nothing. Maybe... Maybe she has a right to know. Well, listen, last... Listen, last time I told her, um, she didn't take too well. Uh, she actually was pretty much essentially gonna fire you. <laughs> that cherry pie smells so good. So I used my time I'm powers. to get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. I don't really like cherry pie. I'm not really a cherry person. I mean, it sounds good. You must good. be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee... To coffee. I'll take some coffee, thanks. Oh. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to grab the. No! I I keep missing these. That's some beautiful artwork you got there. She's hiding something. Like, I don't like this. There's something. She's, she's hiding something. She's acting too suspicious. Like, I mean, she was open to us, but at the same time, it's like, I think she's hiding. Why are you standing there like that? Are, are you okay? Something, something, something's not right here. I've seen it. I've read and seen it, watched enough noir movies to know where this. Some, something's not right. Something's going on. Why are you? Why are you staring at us like that? I'm gonna do some investigation. Something's not right here. Something, something's not adding up. Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. <gasps> Mary. Ooh. When are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. Mm. I already told you I don't know where he is. Let's be... Uh, I'm going to be sympathetic. Mary, I get it. Look, I understand why you're protecting him. But it's in his best interest to end this hide and seek. Yeah. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. If he's making you cover for him, I'll protect you. Look, if he's making you do this, just tell me. I'll protect you. Bobby would never do that. Something's going on. What is that? Wait a minute. She's not the oh, one who it, smells Oh, is like that, that a That's cabinet? That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming oh. from. Oh. So, that's why you were sitting there. Uh-oh. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Uh-oh. Could Mer you step aside so I can <laughs> check, please? Oh. Please go. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mary, Calm down. For Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Mary. Laura. Stop. I can take that knife away. No, 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 no. That's not what we want to do. Please calm down. Mary, please calm down. I mean uh, it. 
I don't want to hurt you. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. There it is. Why do we have to look for that? I knew she was hiding him. I was like, Ooh. Oh, that's going to hurt. Come on. On your side, Bobby. But I'm not on yours. Oh, shit. Oh, we're doing good. Oh, oh shit. No, oh shit. Oh, did he have a heart attack? Oh shit. Call an ambulance. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. Oh shit. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. One, stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. Oh shit. Oh Mississippi. <gasps> two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. <gasps> Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Oh. Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Well, we just saved the man's life. Oh, we just. Oh, oh Bobby. Shit. Thank you. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. Oh, wow. I had investigated a suicide case. Case closed? Question mark? I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. And I had saved a life. Oh, that's a nice, that was a nice transition. Wow. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. Terribly wrong. I was like, oh no, he had a heart attack. I was like, I was like, I wonder if you could fail that. I wonder, I wonder is it possible that you could mess that up so badly that he dies? But then, but then how would the investigation go forward if he died? Promise me, promise you me. won't take the law into your own hands. Oh, I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. We did promise that. I want a gun. What the hell? Bang, bang, bang. A fair amount of violence, extortion. Casualty. I hate I detectives. Bang, bang, bang! You're dead meat, cat. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> 17 days until the fight. I'm just sleeping. How long have I been sleeping? I just got here. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Yale hospitalized under police custody. Thanks, I need to rest. Can we trust that guy? Who is that? Can we trust him? Some of the faces are off. I know how to pick my man, John. You? I'm not so sure. Oh. You promised me you wouldn't intervene. No, I said I wouldn't take the law into my own hands. 
I saved someone's life. If I hadn't intervened, Bobby Yale could be dead. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided a heart attack. <sighs> Ever make promises you can't keep. Anyway, what's done is done. Some of the faces look fo some of the faces look fine, and then there's some that I'm just like look so off. With the art, I think it's the art style just doesn't work with certain 3D things. 3D doesn't work with some of the um, with the art style in some degrees. When, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing more games like this in the universe. Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. When I saw the picture of Luna Park, when he tried to kill me. When I saw his picture with Mary at Luna Park, I just knew something was off. How about the motive? Any ideas? Uh, Dunn wanted to call his fight off. Yale was in the street gang. Uh, Dunn wanted to call his fight off. I know Dunn wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did, but I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. I mean, because right now, I, I would think... You let me ask him some questions when Dunn, he wakes up? Dunn did it. I know you will, with or without my permission. So, I'd rather not feel betrayed. Oh. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Aww. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. Um, don't go too soft on her. She's a liar. Or be nice. Uh, be nice to her. It was her She's nephew. Been through a lot in the past days. Be nice. I can her. understand. Of for course. Him. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. You try to protect Mary Purnell. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. Uh, I will. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. <laughs> you look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid <laughs> this film isn't over yet. Right. For your sake. I hope you're wrong. I feel like you're there's... You're in charge now, officer. I feel... Okay. I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. Who are... Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> A lot of practice, doctor. Now, if practice. you'll excuse me. Do I look like I fared well to you? This is kind of abrupt. Why are we coming after this guy? We as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust, mm -hmm. that it's natural and well-founded. Sounds like a bit of racism in our current society now, doesn't it? Dr. Palmer. Dr. Palmer. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh, yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. What's his current condition? What's his current condition? What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack, after all. Okay, so it was confirmed. So it definitely was a heart attack. It wasn't like an anxiety attack or a panic attack. It wasn't like a panic attack. Okay. Dr. Palmer suggests that Yale rest after his heart attack. Hmm, okay. So it definitely is a heart attack. Well, we really did save his life, Go though. Go away. I don't want to see you. The doctor told me to sleep. I rarely get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what's going on here. His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying, but it could also just be pure, unadulterated. He's got a, he's got some thick abs. 
I'm just gonna just gonna say what everyone's thinking because that's what I do on this. That's what I do on this channel. I just say things that people are already thinking. He's clenching his fist, a sign of contained anger. Why are you pissed off? We saved your life. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. Clenched fist. Fast heart rate. Fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... I saved... I saved your life! I saved your life, son. Maybe my aunt feels gratitude. I certainly don't. Okay. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right. I'll just cut to the chase. Why did you kill Dunn? Why did you kill Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. No. The murder weapon was yours. Dunn was too short to hang himself. Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. So... It's true? He was murdered. Yeah, what, what do you mean? Of course it was. Uh, the what murder weapon was yours. I know the murder weapon That's was yours. That's not a guarantee. What? The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you mean? Don't play with me, boy. The chest expander. <laughs> boy. Expander. Boy. I've never had one of those. All right. Let's just say that I... I believe you. The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a motive? I... I don't know. Dunn's murder had it all carefully planned out. Bobby L. Innocent? Sonia Dunn, definitely I don't believe her. Jake, no. Frank Cassidy. Desmond O'Leary? Frank Cassidy? What about Frank Cassidy? There we go, this you guy. Think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago, Joe took me to a boxing manager's association. I don't think O'Leary would do something like this. Cassidy. Or smart enough to do something like this. Yeah. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. Or without an associated manager. Oh. Everyone seemed to go along with it until Joe spoke up. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. That made others think twice. And Cassidy ended up empty-handed. Poor Cassidy. Don't accuse Cassidy of corruption. Um, what about Desmond O'Leary? I guess I got to do all of them. Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not sure if they knew each other. At least not in person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to... Jake Ostiambi. Yeah, mm. exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. Okay, uh, Jake. Maybe it was... What am I saying? Jake could never pull off something yeah. like that. Jake doesn't seem <laughs> smart enough. Never mind. Jake doesn't seem smart enough to pull off something like this. And Sonya doesn't really what know. What about Sonya Duff? She doesn't really know. Sonya? I doubt it. She's odd. But she's his daughter. Yeah, that, 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 not to mention that. Believe me. Black Sack. I think I owe you an, uh... Say the words, say you them. You know, my father disappeared when I was six, right after winning a fight. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later, he still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for the information. I'm not going to be... 
Thank you for. Oh, he's already asleep. Oh. Huh, now I'm starting to have suspicions. Maybe he didn't do it. I think I'm gonna stop here. I think I'm gonna stop here. Um, how long has this video been going on for? Yeah, I think we'll stop here. Not a long video. I think this is a good point to um. This is a good point to stop. Um, so now we're starting to get some suspicion that maybe Bobby didn't do it. Bobby seems really surprised that, but then, but then that that Joe Dunn died. But then that brings into the question: Why did? Then that brings into the question: Why did he run away? Like, if that was the case, why did you run away? Why were you in hiding? And especially the, to the point where you were having your aunt hide you. But uh, with that being said, though, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Thank you so much, everyone, who stopped by and watched this video. Once again, as I love to say, if you really enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like. Feel free to hit that thumbs up button uh, next to the video. And uh, don't, feel free to give a comment. Who do you think could possibly be the murderer? If Bobby isn't the murderer, who do you think could it be? Could it be Jake? O'Leary? Um... Frank Cassidy or uh, Sonia or do you think any of them could have done it or do you th do you think any of them could have done it or do you think that this is perhaps it's somebody that we just haven't seen yet but um with that being said though if you also if you really enjoy my videos feel free to hit that subscribe button you'll get notific uh, notifications whenever I post a new video or whenever I give a new community post to give a heads up on a video that I'm working on or any new ideas that I, I get to work on it really helps to, uh, really helps me out a lot and it lets you keep up to date with my wonderful channel but like I said this has been Fallen Wolf Oh, and you have been part of the Fallen Pack. Thank you so much, and take care, everyone. Mwah. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.